Hello and welcome to this video. This video provides a demonstration of security option in Smart Reporting Apps. I am Abhijit Tele from Smart Reporting Development Team. Smart Reporting View acts as a semantic layer. They hides the low-level database complexity from the end users. All views provided out of the box are unsecured and they do not require any explicit access to create or run report against them. Smart Reporting provides certain security options at view level which will prevent any unauthorized access against them. Security can be set at a partial level by restricting some features in the smart reporting views or by the full level by restricting all of the features in smart reporting. In the next demo we will see how we can set and how it will affect the system. Log into remedy, launch smart reporting, navigate to administration, admin console. Expand view section, expand air system and search for incident management view. We will be referring to incident management view in this example. Click on edit, select edit existing option enable, click on continue. Now locate the view security sections located at bottom right corner. Check edit restricted options. Go to step 3 which is the view security section. Here you can define a user or a list of users or the user group. Click on add user, search for the user or group. Click on the user to add it in the list. You can set further crowd operations. Now go to step 4 and activate the view. Now only Ellen and Bob has a right to use this view. Let's check with Bob. Bob login to Remedy. He launches Smart Reporting. When Bob click on Create New Report, and he search for Incident Management View. The view will appear in the list. Let's check with some other user. Mary logs into Remedy. Mary launches Smart Reporting. When Mary click on Create New Report, she tries to search Incident Management View. The view will not appear in the list. But since this is partial security, Mary tries to run the report which is already created based on incident management view. Mary go to browse section, she expand operational reporting incident management category and she click on incident cross tab. She can able to run the report. This is how partial security works. Similarly for other option, when you select a restricted the view security section and you go to the view security section in step number 3 if you see the message O it clearly indicates that this view is completely restricted and only listed user below can use this view in this way the administrator can implement the view level security based on specific requirements I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching